Hello one and all and welcome to Seeing Through Glass and welcome to the Red Bull Ring in Austria. Now most of you know I am a massive Formula One fan but this year because of Drive the World I don't really have any opportunities to attend F1 Grand Prix so I have to look for other ways to indulge in my F1 nerdery and coming to iconic tracks like this is just one of those ways. Now during the year when there's not a sort of Grand Prix or major motorsport event taking place because they do also host the MotoGP down here at the Red Bull Ring uh, every everyday people can come along and take part in various driving experiences and unbelievably today the guys at the Red Bull Ring have said that they're going to put me in one of their Formula 4 cars so yes I'm going to be driving a Formula car around a Formula 1 track winning Well, I have to admit, this was unexpected. I genuinely just thought I was coming here for the Formula 4 experience, which would have been amazing enough in the first place. But I'm now getting the opportunity to take my Carrera T on track at a Formula 1 track, the Red Bull Ring. <laughs> Here we go then, on to the Red Bull Ring for the very first time, and it's in my 911 Carrera T. My first time driving this car on track. Okay, it's not really set up for track use right now. I've got the uh, roof box fully loaded. We've got a whole load of luggage in the front boot. I've got bottles and things rattling around all over the place, so you might hear them moving, but who cares? It's a 911, it's gonna be totally fine. The one thing I will say is I haven't speed tested the roof box or the front fog lights yet. So <laughs> let's hope that we're not gonna be going too crazy or let's hope they don't come flying off because that would really be a bit of a fail. I cannot tell you as a Formula One fan how exciting it is to be driving such iconic corners as this one. The scene of much drama over the years, Hamilton versus Rosberg, Hackenden versus Coulthard, <laughs> it's just so cool. Everything is tingling. I know I shouldn't be this excited, but <gasps> look at those views. Okay, sorry, Sam. Focus on the road ahead. Um, I've got to be taking note of lines. Now, the only benefit I have, having spent hours watching Grand Prix on this circuit and playing this track on the PlayStation, is that I kind of roughly know where I'm going, but it's always a bit different in real life especially the gradient because the one thing the Red Bull Ring is famous for is the gradient. Oh, and there's a big drop here. I had no idea of that descent. That's a really big drop and he stayed quite wide there. Again, another late apex. And I suppose try and straighten this up as much as possible. <laughs> this is so cool! Nice little dip. Oh. And onto the main straight. Now the one thing I'm gonna say is the hill up to the first corner isn't as extreme as I thought it would be. I was expecting it to be a lot steeper. I braked way too early there as well. Here we go. Think up to Sport Plus mode, Sammy boy. No more messing around. There goes one of my water bottles. Oh, this is just mega. Amazing, amazing. I very tame, very timid first experience of driving my Carrera T on track, but also driving this iconic Red Bull ring. I now cannot wait to get out there in a single seater Formula 4 car. <laughs> my shoulders. Twist your shoulders a little bit. Ah, oh, yeah. there you go. Well done. Good tip. <laughs> okay. How does it look with the pedals? Yeah. Steering position? Yeah. Yeah, it feels fine. It feels fine. We're going to do a race distance. What? Are you ready for that? Yeah, sure. 
I, you know, but the thing is, I actually I am. 70, 78 laps, no? Yeah, you're joking. I'm so keen. You're I'm not. literally so ready. I'm not joking. I'm this serious. This is a test session. Huh? I'm serious. <laughs> yes! We are here at Project Sweetberg, so That's everything cool. is possible. Perfect. What do I win if I complete the race? This? If you win, maybe maybe we can find a solution. Maybe we can... <laughs> a Red Bull car. <laughs> <laughs> He's away! He's away! Oh my god! This is insane! I really hope these microphones work. I tried to do this for the Formula 1 experience and the mic failed. I can't really turn the wheel over my legs because I'm too lanky. Patrick is talking to me on the radio, but I can barely hear him. This is so freaking cool! Now, like any Formula car, we've got to warm this beast up. The engine's already warm. I'm now fully on my flappy paddles. And I'm now left foot braking as well. So I do have a clutch on the left hand side. But I'm having to ignore that because I don't need it now. Racing gearbox. And the brake pedal is as stiff as a brick wall. It's one thing which if you've never driven a race car before you might not know. Brake pedals are rock hard. You have to really thump them. It's my first time flat acceleration. the mirror. My wing mirror is gone. Oh, we're building some speed now, people. And there's the brake pedal. for that corner. Oh, I need to be harder on the brakes there. I can start to feel the car moving around a little bit, I have to say. This throttle pedal is so responsive. Should be so happy. He's flaming in front of me. I've got to I think 
that's it. I think that's it. And I've spoilt it. Because I remembered at the very last minute. Look forward. You're always supposed to look so far forward. And I was always looking for the apex. Which is not what you want to be doing. But still, what an unbelievable experience. What an absolutely unbelievable experience. I could do this all day, every day. He joked about a full race distance, but I would be so keen. So, so keen. You know, I forgot on the very last lap, I remembered, look forward, look yeah. forward, forward. Always forward. I was forward. looking for the apex the whole time. When you're turning in, already further to the apex. When you're yeah. at the apex, already to the exit. So always one step. That's there. what I forgot. Just as I remembered that, I was like, damn it, we're coming in. Whoa. Unreal. Unreal. What a track. It's good, though. Oh my god, so good. But yeah, I annoyed myself because I, I kept sort of thinking, like, why am I. I didn't feel so sure, so confident, and then literally that last time I was like, oh yeah, I've got to look so far. And then on the faster corners, you can just carry so much more speed, because you don't even realise it, whilst otherwise you're always double guessing, yeah. and you're going to hit the apex, but thank yeah. you so and much. also it's heavy when I'm in front, no? Of course, yeah, yeah, massively. But I didn't know any of the braking, so I was waiting for your flames. You have massive flames, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the minute I saw a flame, I was like, oh, brake! <laughs> oh, but yeah, so cool. Uh, thank really, you so much. You did really, really well. well. I realise this isn't exactly how Formula 1 drivers look uh, after the end of each session, but I've proved once again that I'm definitely not a Formula 1 driver. But what I want to find out is how much slower I am than a Formula 1 driver, because obviously I was uh, much slower than Patrick. If you don't know, by the way, uh, Patrick is an ex-Formula 1 driver. He drove for Minardi back in 2005, I think, uh, and is now sort of Red Bull's go-to man. So what I'm going to work out is my what I think is my quickest lap time in that F4 car, which they said was around 30 seconds slower uh, than the Formula One cars, usually around this track. So this is, it's gonna be a very, very unscientific equation as to, as I say, yeah, how much faster or, well, definitely not faster, slower I am than an F1 car. So here we go. Here's the clip. I gotta find my last complete lap, which I think starts. There it is, frame by frame, and we have a lap time, 1 minute 47.06. <laughs> so slow. Uh, I think they were saying 1 minute 32, 1 or 2 uh, was a good lap time, so I'm, I'm 15 seconds off that, uh, and so comparably 15 seconds off Formula 1 pole position, which is almost as bad as Williams is these days. So yes, definitely not going to get a drive in an F1 car anytime soon. One of the coolest things about today is I could come back and do this again. It is a paid for experience and whilst I'm not here doing an ad for the Red Bull Ring, I think I have to promote the fact that anyone can come and do this for a budget. Obviously there is a cost and a fee. Um, these guys very kindly invited me down here to do this experience for free, but I would pay for it. Again, this is not a paid for ad or promo. Um, but it was just that much fun. Oh my God, my adrenaline is, I don't really know how to deal with this adrenaline. Uh, once again, I want to go racing. I need to, I need to call Archie Hamilton and have a conversation about this, about setting up some awful race team with an MX-5 and going green roots racing, I think. Clearly, I need a lot of practice and I need some lessons because I ain't quick, uh, but come on, that was just a three or four laps uh, in a car that I don't know. Anyway, I need to go and drink and line an ice bath. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure you subscribe for plenty more videos to come. Oh, oh, get a bit of a squirm on there. We are pushing the tires. <laughs>